Turning off these five settings I'm going to show you today helped me take control over who has access to sensitive data like my location, saved me a ton of nerve from annoying notifications and honestly made my whole iPhone experience better. A lot of people have no idea which apps are actually tracking their location. In settings scroll down to privacy and security and right at the top tap location services. Let's open Amazon for example. Here you can see that it always knows where I am. But you can change that. You can choose whether the app can never access your location, ask next time or run a share. While using the app or always. At the bottom there's a toggle for a precise location. That decides whether the app gets your exact position or just an approximate one. In this example I don't want that so I'll switch it to never. Okay, one step back you can adjust this for every app individually. Go through this list and choose what makes sense for you. Then if we go back once more on the location services you'll find tracking. That's where you can stop apps and websites from tracking you across other apps and websites. I've got that turned off completely. If we go back once, you'll see a section right below with Apple Apps. Let's check out what we can do there. For example, if we tap on Calendar, we'll see a list of all the apps that can access the Calendar app in some way. If we tap on Google Calendar, for instance, we can choose between None, Add Events Only or Full Access. And if we go back, we can do the same for all the other Apple apps, like Contacts, where we can manage who has access to all contacts and what kind of access they have, or Files, where we control which apps are allowed to access our documents. If we scroll down a bit further, we can manage the same kind of permission for things like Bluetooth, camera, microphone and more. For example, if we tap on Bluetooth, we can again choose which apps are allowed to access it and which aren't. Here it's basically just a simple on-off switch for each app. The same thing applies to microphone. You'll see all your apps listed and you can turn access on or off with a single tap. Do you know this moment where the text of one app is too small but you don't want to change the whole system settings? The next setting is for you. First, swipe the top right down to open control center. Tap the plus icon in the top left or just press and hold on an empty space. Then tap add control at the bottom and look for text size. And uh, there is it. Tap it once and it will be added to your control center. Now let's use the health app as an example. Open it, then swipe down to open the control center and press and hold the new text size icon. You can now choose the health app and use the slider to adjust the text size just for this app. Super handy and it works with almost every app. And now let's turn off these annoying in-app rating notifications. To do that, scroll all the way down in the settings app to apps, then tap App Store at the top, scroll down a bit and under in-app ratings and reviews simply toggle that off. Something that always annoyed me in the past was that pressing the power button during your call would end the call. Alright, to fix this, open the settings app. Scroll down a bit and tap on accessibility. In the second section, you'll see an option called touch. Go ahead and tap that. Here, scroll down to prevent lock to end call and turn it on. Now, pressing the lock button won't hang up the call anymore. If you enjoyed this one, you'll probably also enjoy my video on Apple Pro Tips. Or this one. See you next time. Bye bye.